Morning guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today we got the 1940s, 1950s Univender canning machine and we're gonna be taking the whole front case of it and getting all the dents out, pulling all the lock cylinders out, cleaning up all the glass and getting that ready to prime and paint as well as the entire candy machine. If you guys are sticking around for the series, we got the entire candy machine all primed and ready to go. We just gotta wet sand and get ready to prime. So I gotta pull all the dents out, clean it all up, pull all the accessories off the mirror, little brackets, all that type of stuff. So stay tuned. If you guys do like this type of video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And you guys can stay along for this whole process. So let's just jump right into the video. And we're just gonna start pulling everything off of the candy or the front panel and get ready for prep and paint. Let's do it.
All right, so that was it. That was setting up and getting all the dents out. As you guys can see, these ones were not that bad. Those two, there was two little ones right here, you guys could tell. And this one in the corner, which was a little harder. Now, given, I also don't really know what I'm really doing. Like, I got these from Harbor Freight, and I don't know what I'm doing at all, to be honest. This is all, I'm just winging it with this whole thing. So we are going to leave this dent just for a little character. Um... But as you guys can see, we got, let's see, we got that one taken out, these two right there, we got this one mostly taken out, and then coming over to this side, we got this big one also taken out. So we got all of the contours all tried and set up as best as possible. Um, we're not going to be adding any body filler. Just because, one, I don't really know too much about what I'm doing. I want to keep it as, as original as possible. So we, we're not going to fix this one. This is the only dent on the entire machine that is not going to get fixed. Just because we want it to have some character. This is from the 50s. So we're looking at 2021. So let's say it is from 1950. That's 71 years ago. So we're just going to leave it. I think that dent's cool. We can always come back and fix it later on. Um, but we did take the mirror off, both of the trim pieces, the nickels only part, if you guys can see that, both lock cylinders, that lock cylinder, lock cylinder on that door, and this thing is coming along. So like all of this will now get painted, and then I want to see if we can take all of this out and clean all of that up the best we can. But as far as dents go, this thing is pretty dent free at this point. I mean, there's probably a couple little dings and nicks and stuff, but we'll fix all that and prep and the bodywork before getting ready for paint. But yep, that's been pretty cool. But if you guys want to see any more of this type of stuff, subscribe to the channel. We got this whole candy machine series. Um, after that, we're going to start getting a little bit more into the automotive. I know we've got some, some videos on the channel. For diesel stuff, like the engine series for the DD-15 and the radiator and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing a radiator on my car, finishing up the candy machine. We also have a bunch of really cool stuff planned for the summer. But I'm trying to focus on staring at the camera more instead of like off to the side. Like, because the camera's beautiful. You guys are beautiful. Hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys did, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And it helps you guys stay in tune with everything that's going on here. We also got plans this summer to go to a wakeboarding park, a cable park to go like wakeboarding. None of us are really wakeboarders, so that'll be cool. Um, I'm going to have a GoPro on, but we're also going to have people on cameras. Because if I get up, I'm going to go to the, like, the better, the expert course, I guess you would call it. And if I get up off the dock and I go, I'm going straight for that big jump. I'm going to have a helmet on. It'll be cool. So that's it. Um, stay tuned for the project, and that's all we got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.